<laughs> Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming pattern. A lot of that rain that we've been talking about in previous videos is going to be going on for the northern United States, and a lot of the reasoning behind that, we're going to be looking at our upper air, according to the GFS here, you can see it's 250 millibar wind speed, and that is very, very high up, and we can really see the jet stream here, and you can see it really splits into two areas. Uh, here, starting at the western United States, you can see there's two areas where we see this jet stream set up, and it's in southern California there, and then up north above Washington in Canada, that heads south into kind of the northern central United States, and then into the south, or you know, mid-Atlantic and northeastern states of the United States. And really, this is a lot of what we're going to be talking about in this video. Is low pressure systems look to travel just south of this jet stream, and it's going to be bringing a lot of that moisture. And this is a lot of the reasoning behind a lot of the moisture that we're going to be seeing very soon. So this is starting just today, and we're going to move on to hour 90. So this is going to be by Tuesday. And you see that jet stream flattens out just a little bit. There's a little bit of a trough going on there uh, in, in the western United States, but really... Uh, for the most part, we do have that jet stream still covering the northern United States, and we are seeing low pressure systems around that area. Moving on again to hour 168, and this is by Friday, and you can see that jet stream has kind of caused a ridge there in the eastern United States, and this could be a little bit of a let up in the precipitation. We shouldn't be seeing quite as much precipitation while this happens. But as you can see by hour 324, and this is getting very far in at this point, so this isn't going to be uh, very accurate. This could be quite similar to what we see, though, and that looks like the most likely case here, but there's a lot of things that could change. But we do see that jet stream kind of lower back into the eastern United States, and again, this should bring a lot more moisture once again for the eastern United States, or at least the northern uh, eastern United States, but really the southeastern United States looks like it's going to receive a lot of precipitation as well. Now we're going to be looking at the total precipitation according to the GFS through the entire run and you can see a lot of those yellows, a lot of those reds in the in the central United States there and that's going to be anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of rain there. So that's a ton of rain and really could cause a lot of flooding for a lot of areas. Anywhere over pink though you're looking at 2 inches or more so that should be a little bit above average for pretty much everywhere. So you're seeing a lot of rain for a lot of places here. Blues and pinks again is anywhere from half an inch of rain upwards of four inches of rain and into the purple that's four to six inches of rain and then red you're at six to eight inches and then eight inches and up is in the yellow shades uh, there that you can see on the map so that's where we're going to be seeing a lot of your precipitation uh, particularly it looks like for Oklahoma. Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois. Those areas look to be like the, the bullseye there for the rain, but really a lot could change. This is, again, through 384 hours, so a lot could change uh, as we head into the future. This just looks like the most likely outcome at this point. And I wanted to show here the CFS V2 as well. Uh, and this is kind of like the, the precipitation anomaly. So this is comparative to normal. So a lot of those greens is where we're seeing more precipitation than normal. And this is for one week. So you can see through the next week, uh, we can see a lot of those green areas seeing above average precipitation, and then we're going to even look to next week, and you can see, again, a lot of those areas seeing green once again, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, all of those areas seeing above average precipitation for two weeks in a row is going to lead to a lot of rain, again, like I said during this entire video. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.